to create a more supportive relationship with yourself is to embrace a tender, compassionate dance with your own inner world. It means turning your attention inward and nurturing a space within where you honor your own needs, attune to your own feelings, and listen to the whispers of your own heart. In this sacred relationship, you become your own safe haven and biggest cheerleader, cultivating an inner landscape of trust and authenticity where you allow yourself to feel fully, to lovingly meet yourself where you are, and to bring more nurturance and support to the deepest parts of you. But often our relationships with ourselves are anything but supportive. We've been conditioned to judge and suppress our own needs, feelings, and desires in favor of caretaking others. We've been taught to idealize productivity and perfectionism at the cost of our own well-being. And we've often silenced our own inner voices in favor of the burdensome and fickle expectations of the outside world. And all of this is a recipe for stress, burnout, self-criticism, self-abandonment, and dysregulation. But there is a way back to yourself. In today's guided meditation to create a more supportive relationship with yourself, we're going to practice embracing our feelings and listening to our inner voice in a way that's soothing, clarifying, and grounding. This guided meditation utilizes havening techniques to help us connect with our bodies and find some calm within. And after we're calm, we're going to use the powerful technique of regenerating images in memory or RIM to go deeper. This meditation is designed to help you bring support to the deep parts of yourself, and RIM is the ideal tool to help you bypass your surface thoughts and dive deeply into your true feelings and desires, uncovering the authentic self that resides within. And I'll be here guiding you every step of the way. Welcome to Somatic Healing Meditations, the podcast that helps you regulate your nervous system, deepen your healing journey, and feel better in your body. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm Karenna with Hello Inner Light, and I'm a trauma-informed emotional healing coach who's here to help you heal the old emotional wounds, subconscious blocks, and self-sabotaging core beliefs that are holding you back from living a life of authenticity and joy. So if that's the kind of content you need more of in your life, please subscribe to this podcast and join me every Friday on this beautiful journey out of your head and into your more embodied and authentic self. This episode of Somatic Healing Meditations is brought to you by the Co-Regulation Community. The Co-Regulation Community is an amazing membership I've created to help you soothe your stress on a deep body level while also rewiring your nervous system for more authenticity, resilience, and peace. Within the Co-Regulation Community, I teach live nervous system regulation classes where we come together to practice effective somatic techniques that will leave you feeling more centered, connected, and calm. Plus, they'll rewire the stress and trauma patterns in your nervous system when practiced regularly over time. You can think of these nervous system regulation classes like drop-in yoga or exercise classes, but instead of exercising, we're doing havening, somatic meditations, and gentle breath work. The link to learn all about it is in the show notes, and I hope you'll join me. Now let's dive into this guided meditation to create a more supportive relationship with yourself. To begin this meditation, we're going to do self havening to calm our nervous systems, release some stress, and also help us connect more deeply with our bodies. So to do self havening, there are three ways that you can do it. You can rub your palms together at a pace and with a pressure that feels good to you. So just rubbing your palms together. You can rub down your arms from shoulder to elbow, shoulder to elbow, shoulder to elbow, just going down again with a pace and a pressure that feels good to you. Or you can use your hands to rub anywhere on your face, cheeks, or forehead. So those are the three ways to do self-havening. 
either on your palms, down your upper arms, or anywhere on your face, cheeks, or forehead. And this self-havening is meant to feel soothing and comforting. So you can move between those three areas in whatever way feels right to you. And if any of those types of havening touch don't feel good to you, then just skip that part of your body. Do what feels right. Do what feels soothing. And you can really tune in and feel what it feels like to do the havening touch and do what feels best for your body in this moment. So doing the havening touch, let's begin with our eyes open. As you're doing the havening touch, just begin to look around your environment. Look with curious eyes and just begin to notice all of the textures around you. There's as many textures as there are things. And breathing and havening, begin to look at the light and the shadows. Go ahead and find four shiny things. And then scan around your environment to find the smallest square or rectangle that you can see right now. Now, letting your eyes close, continuing to do the havening touch in whatever way feels good to you, begin to tune into all of the sounds that you can hear. So you can hear my voice. You may be able to hear the havening touch. It makes a very soft sound. And there may be other sounds as well, like traffic or animals or people in the distance. So taking two gentle breaths and just listening to the sound closest to you right now. Now really paying attention to how the havening touch feels. So you can feel the texture of your palms with all of the lines crisscrossing your palms. You can feel the texture of your fingertips, which is different than the texture of your palms. Our fingertips have all those tiny little bumps and ridges that form our fingerprints. Perhaps you can feel those. You can feel the gentle pressure of the havening touch and the temperature of your skin. And then just notice what else you can feel touching your skin. So maybe you can feel the collar of your shirt or the waistband of your clothes. Or perhaps you have glasses resting on your nose or jewelry resting on some part of your body. Maybe you have a blanket in your lap. Just noticing all of the places where you can feel something touching your skin. And noticing what that feels like. And then notice that you can feel your body making contact with the chair or the bed or the floor where you are. And 
noticing which parts of your body are making contact with the chair. And what does that contact feel like? Is it soft or hard? Is it bumpy or smooth? Is your body making symmetrical contact with the chair or asymmetrical contact? And you're just noticing whatever you're noticing. And continuing to do the havening touch, just bring your awareness to your breath. So notice that you can feel the air moving in and out through your nostrils. And notice that you can feel the air causing your chest and tummy to rise and fall. And very gently bringing your attention even deeper into your body. And just notice whatever you're feeling in this moment. There could be emotions, there could be body sensations. You could feel gurgles or vibrations within. And just greeting whatever you notice with a sense of welcome. Maybe giving a hello to your body and your feelings in this moment. So learning to feel your feelings and attune to yourself in this way, exactly like you're practicing with me right now, is a really important part of creating a supportive relationship with yourself. If you think about it, if we're always denying our own needs, minimizing our own feelings, and suppressing or running away from the very real and natural emotions that we're having, we'll never really feel supported. Just like you'll never feel loved by someone who never really sees you or hears you, You'll never feel supported by someone who doesn't even acknowledge your feelings, needs, and desires. So practically speaking, this is a really important part of self-support. Reconnecting with our feelings, noticing and validating our needs and our desires, and turning toward the parts of ourselves that may be in need of caring support. We can't give ourselves the best support that we truly need if we're not acknowledging what we're really feeling. So as you continue to do the havening touch, just noticing and acknowledging whatever wants to be felt and whatever wants to be known. deepening even more into your feelings, into your body, and into this present moment. And just as a little side note, if as you're tuning into your body in this moment, you are beginning to feel emotions that feel really distressing or really out of control, then the most supportive thing to do might be to tune into episode 28 of this podcast, which is called A Soothing Somatic Meditation for When the World Feels Out of Control. And that is a really supportive thing to do if you're feeling a lot of distress right now. That would be the most ideal meditation to do. But if you're feeling okay to continue... We'll just continue right here and right now. So continuing to do the havening touch, 
just continue to attune to whatever's happening within you. There's no wrong thing to feel, and there's no wrong way to feel. And so, in this meditation to create a supportive relationship with yourself, you're just feeling what's really truly here, coming into closer connection with your inner world, whatever that is right now. And we're going to begin to go a little bit deeper and get a little bit more curious using regenerating images in memory. So you can continue to do the havening touch if that feels right, or you can just stop doing havening touch knowing that you can pick it up at any time. So for some people, they just love havening touch and they'll do it through the whole exercise. And for some people, it feels a little distracting as they move deeper. And again, there's no right or wrong here. You're just tuning in to what would feel best to you. And as you're feeling whatever you're feeling, as you're breathing, just begin to get curious about what might feel supportive to you, to your body, to your heart in this moment. What would loving support feel like to you right now? Or what would it look like to lovingly be in support of yourself right now? Just getting curious, you might be getting answers, you might not, you're doing it perfectly no matter what. And to really deepen into this support even more, your imagination is going to call forward a word, and this word represents a feeling or a quality that would feel really supportive to you right now. So just noticing whatever word shows up for you, really letting it organically arise from your imagination as you're connected to your body. Noticing the word even more, the feeling or the quality that would be supportive to you right now. And as you're breathing, notice that this feeling or this quality already exists somewhere within you. So like if your word is gentleness, there's some part of you that already feels gentleness or already resonates with that quality. Even if it's just a tiny part of you, even if it's just one molecule, go ahead and notice where in your body you already have that feeling or that quality. Breathing and very gently getting more and more curious about this feeling or this quality that already exists in your body, even if it's just a tiny bit. Where do you feel this feeling or this quality the most in your body right now? Is it more on the right or the left? or maybe it's centralized, or maybe it's everywhere. Is it more deep or superficial? 
or maybe it's both or neither. Notice the height, width, thickness, and shape of this feeling or this quality within you. Does this feeling or quality have a color or a texture? And you may not be getting answers to all of these questions and that's totally fine. Whatever you're doing is perfect. It's really the act of asking these questions with a curious gentleness that takes us deeper. So you're just noticing whatever you're noticing about this feeling or this quality within. And now your imagination is going to take your awareness into that feeling. It's like you become that color and that shape and that texture. You become that quality or that feeling. You become it. You know what it knows. You feel what it feels. And you can even look out through its perspective. Surrendering even more deeply into that color, into that feeling or quality. And then you're going to speak as this quality or feeling. And speaking as this feeling or quality you're going to complete the following sentences, just letting your words come forward. So as this feeling or quality, you're just going to say, what it's like to be me is. Breathing, surrendering even more into this feeling or quality. Speaking as this feeling, you're just going to say, What I see when I look at life is... Breathing, going even deeper. Just letting your words come forward and finishing this sentence. What I believe deep down is... Speaking as this feeling or this quality, you're just going to finish this sentence. What I really want to say is... Breathing, speaking as this feeling or color, finishing this sentence. What I'm realizing as I say all of this is...
letting your words come forward and finishing this sentence. How it feels to realize this is... And then as this supportive feeling or quality, just speaking anything else that wants to be spoken until that feels complete. Now, when that feels complete, your imagination is going to take your awareness out of this feeling and back into the wholeness and totality of you. You're going to take a breath and just fully land back into all parts of you, your whole self. And as your whole self, just looking back at that feeling or that quality that was so supportive, that feeling or that quality that just spoke and shared all that information. And as your whole self, you're going to receive a stream of colored energy coming from that feeling or that quality that represents everything it just shared. Noticing the color and the quality of that stream of colored energy. And noticing where you receive it in your body first. Just fully receiving all of that energy from that feeling. And then as your whole self, you're going to speak back to that supportive feeling or quality. And as your whole self, you're going to finish this sentence. What I heard from you or what I received from you is... Breathing and speaking as your whole self, finishing this sentence. How it feels to hear and receive this is... Speaking as your whole self, finishing this sentence. What I'm understanding now that I didn't understand before is... With your next few breaths, just really notice what has shifted within you. What feels different from when we started? What looks different from when we started? What do you understand now about how to support yourself? Is there any ahas or realizations that you've had about how to create a more supportive relationship with yourself? Breathing and just taking it all in. 
thanking yourself for showing up to do this meditation. And know that you can do this meditation lots of times on different days. The things that you feel will be different. The things that you attune to will be different. And the feeling or quality that will feel supportive will be different. So this meditation can be helpful under lots of different circumstances and it will be unique and fresh each time you do it. Taking another breath. And just ask your body if there's anything else it wants or needs before we bring this meditation to a close. And just listening to whatever answer you receive. It's possible that your body could want or need something that you could take care of right now. It could be something that you could take care of later. Or maybe there's nothing. Maybe there's nothing that your body wants or needs. And once you've received that answer from your body, your unconscious mind is going to let you know that all of this is fully integrated into your cellular memory and your emotional memory by bringing full feeling and weight back into your arms and legs, fingers and toes, and spontaneously opening your eyes. Great work. Thank you so much for joining me. How do you feel now? And what are your biggest takeaways? What did you learn about yourself and how to create a more supportive relationship with yourself? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And remember, you're invited to join me in the co-regulation community where you'll learn lifelong skills to soothe your stress on a deep body level while also rewiring your nervous system for more authenticity, resilience, and peace. If you enjoyed today's episode, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to the podcast and also rate and review it on Apple Podcasts or rate it on Spotify. You could also send this episode to a friend who may need it. And don't forget to join me every Friday on this beautiful journey out of your head and into your more embodied and authentic self.